welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how to set up and run php on visual studio code in windows operating system by following its official documentation so let's get started at first make sure that you already have installed visual studio code on your system if you don't have installed it on your system install it from microsoft store easily click on the install button it may take a while for installing visual studio code installed successfully now open let's install the full version of php in order to obtain the development libraries i am going to download php from this website php.net I am going to download the latest version of php It may take a while for downloading. After a successful download, go into the downloads folder and extract this zip archive file. Now copy this folder into local disk C and you can rename this folder. Okay. Now copy this path and open edit the system environment variables. Now I am going to set PHP path in my current user. So go to the user variable section, select path, then click on edit and then click on new and paste here. Click on OK okay let's verify the installation so open command prompt and type this command php hyphen hyphen version that's it php 8.4.2 installed successfully now open the settings of visual studio code click on file and then preferences then select settings now search for php in this box controls whether the built-in php language suggestions are enabled and also enable php validation and now select the validate run option from this drop down list select on save okay now edit the settings.json file here set the php executable path now save this file now create a folder anywhere on your system to store the php source code i'm going to name this folder php codes and open this folder in visual studio code trust the authors okay now i'm going to create a new file name it index dot php and here i am going to write a simple php script that will print a message okay now i am going to install php extension 
PHP IntelliJ friends PHP debug and also install PHP server you can install the PHP extension pack that includes all of the extension you need for PHP now I am going to run this PHP script so right click on the mouse and then select php server serve project if you see this php not found then close the editor and reopen now run the php script and start a local development server that's it the local server running on the port 3000 write another string and reload that's it If you are uh, new to this channel, subscribe this channel and like, comment, share. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.